Most mammals have two opsin genes which allow perception of color. A short wave ops opsin which allows the perception of blue and a long wave opsin which allows the perception of red and green. In humans, the uh, blue cone pigment, which is the short wave opsin, is located on chromosome 7. And the human disorder tritinopia is uh, the result of mutations in this gene, but it is not sex linked. Uh, in some groups of uh, organisms, changes in the amino acids of this short wave opsin, as few as 10, can convert it from one which detects blue light to one which detects ultraviolet. In some lineages, such as coelacanths and dolphins, the short wave opsin is no longer active. Most mammals, such as these deer, are dichromatic. They can distinguish between blue and red slash green, but they cannot distinguish between red and green. As a result, deer hunters can wear orange jackets, um, and the deer detect the orange as being similar to green. It doesn't matter if a bullfighter waves a red or a green flag in front of an angry bull, the bull will detect them the same. The gene for the red slash green opsin is located on the X chromosome. In New World monkeys, the males are dichromatic as are most mammals because they simply have one version of this gene. Females, however, have two copies, and if the copies differ, which apparently they do in uh, about half of New World uh, female primates, then the females can actually distinguish between red and green and be trichromatic. Somewhere between the New World and Old World monkey lineages, a gene duplication occurred so that now, by the first Old World monkeys, there were two opsin genes on the X chromosome next to each other, one which would detect red light best and one which detect green light best. These are closely related proteins differing by only, uh, say, 12 amino acids. And so therefore, uh, old world monkeys and apes, including ourselves, are trichromatic, possessing the ability to distinguish between red and green. In humans, additional duplications are known to occur, and an individual may have as many as four red uh, opsins and as many as seven green opsins. These additional gene duplications could also be advantageous if additional uh, mutations change the shade of red or green which these opsins detect best. There are variations uh, in these opsin genes in human populations and individuals may vary in how well they perceive certain colors or how much of say the color red is uh, needed for an individual to respond that it is red.